Hello and welcome to the Love Mondays Club podcast. I'm your host Helen and I'm here to help you unravel the mysteries of marketing so that you can get more eyes on your business and make more sales. This is the ultimate podcast for online female business owners who are ready to conquer their overwhelm, discover their confidence and unlock the secrets to marketing success. Whether you're just starting out or already running a thriving business, Love Mondays Club is your compass to navigate this ever-changing digital world. Each episode, I'll bring you valuable insights, expert interviews, and practical strategies to help you stand out in a crowded online marketplace. It's time for you to dream big and succeed. I want your Mondays to be overflowing with inspiration, excitement, and setting the stage for you achieving your dreams. So if you're ready, cozy up in your favorite spot and get ready to unlock your business potential let's dive in hello and welcome to this week's episode i really want to talk to you guys about essential systems inside your business so again as i've said over the past couple of weeks these episodes are brought to you from my new online little free program that i have which is called grow your online business it's packed full of information it's literally been designed to help you it's going to give you like a really good idea of like how you can grow and scale and it's also going to give you a really good flavor of what it's like to be inside love mondays club so if you're ever curious about coming and joining us make sure you definitely sign up and have a go at that free program and course that I've created for you. The links are always in the show notes and you can go from there. In module three, one of the things I talk about is essential systems that you need inside your business. Now, if you've listened to the podcast for a while, you know, one thing I always talk about are automations and how powerful they are inside your business. So what I want to do today is talk to you about sort of how I use systems and automations, almost give you a bit of a behind the scenes really, and talk to you about some of the software and tech that I use as well, because I know that for for a lot of us, you know, when we're starting in this world and we're trying to decide what to invest in, what to spend our money on, because let's be honest, it is so easy to spend money, $15 here, $20 there, but it all adds, it's always dollars as well as next tend to be American companies. It all adds up so quickly in our businesses. So we really want to make sure that we're investing in things that are actually going to help us, save us time. And ultimately, these investments are not about spending money. They're about giving you back time and freedom so that you can go do more money making tasks in your business. So when you're investing in things, it's all about if this is worth X and my time is worth Y, then, you know, am I going to be seeing a return on my investment there? And I'm going to talk about some examples with that with you as we go through. Now, one of the things I will say is like, don't be afraid to invest in things and try them. Like all the software I'm going to talk to you about today and all the systems I'm going to talk to you about, they all offer free trials. So you have nothing to lose. You just got to make sure that you cancel in time, you know, before they charge your card. But, you know, why not have a go? Like, don't be scared of it. I promise you cannot break your computer. You're not going to break the software. (laughs) The worst thing that's going to happen is you might click on something and delete something that you don't want to, but normally you can undo that. So I always encourage everyone to just have a go. And in all honesty, if you want to scale and if you want to grow your business, and if you just generally want your life to be a bit easier, you do need to invest in software and systems. Like anybody that you see online who you think has like got a big growing business and it seems like things are flowing really well for them, I guarantee you they've got lots of software, lots of systems working behind the scenes, helping them to show up and do that. There's kind of three different areas that I break down like systems and software into inside my business. So we've got marketing, sales, and then client systems. And I'll tell you a bit more about these. Your marketing systems, basically you want to have things in place to help you get greater reach. Because in reality, especially like social media, you know, a lot of it requires us to be there, to be showing up, to be very present and it takes a lot of time. I'm going to throw this out there. I hate making reels. Like I know they have the potential for reach. I know like the the benefits that can come from them. But honestly, I find like the Instagram app so frustrating. Like so many times I have fiddled around, put all these little transitions in and somehow accidentally swiped backwards or accidentally deleted it and just lost everything. And honestly, you know, it's like it's like 45 minutes of my life I'm never going to get back. All for the risk of also putting it out there and it getting like 20 views. (laughs) As much as we can be creative and have fun with these things, and I'm certainly not saying don't do it, but what I am saying is that we also need to have more time effective systems and strategies in our business. Like if I've got 45 minutes to spare, cool, I'll play around on Instagram. But actually, 
those spare 45 minutes are pretty rare these days. So instead, for me, and I always talk about this, email marketing is such an important part of our businesses because the whole thing can be automated. It means that everybody that comes into our world gets exactly the same experience, gets exactly the same information. You know, if you've got things like, for example, a podcast, maybe a YouTube channel, maybe a community group, all sorts of different things you might have going on, an email sort of nurture sequence. So what that means is when somebody signs up or gets on your list, you're going to put them through a series of emails and you're going to signpost them to all the different things that you have available for them to see and for them to join. And I bet you know as well, like listening to this, if you think about your current clients, I like I always encourage you to ask them as well, like how did you find me? What made you decide to work with me? You're going to find correlations you know, between people of like what it what's really working for you. So for me, as an example, it's this podcast. So I'd say pretty much all of my clients who have come to work with me have said, oh, I listened to your podcast or I found you through the podcast or something like that. So for me, th- this podcast is one of the most important parts of my marketing. Like it is the one thing I would say I'm the most consistent at. And, and it's for that very reason. I know that hopefully if you're listening to this, you like it. <laughs> And I know hopefully that it gives you value and it really helps people to get a flavor and taste of what it's like, who I am and what it's like to work with me. So think about that in your situation. Like what are the things that attract people to you? And therefore, what are the things that you basically, anyone who discovers you, you want to nudge them towards. So that's the sort of thing that email can do for you. And also it works 24 seven. You know, we don't need to worry about like a story that disappears after 24 hours or a post that, you know, after two or three days kind of disappears into the social social media abyss never to be seen again. Like emails are there, they're consistent, they're constant, and they're directly in your audience face. All you're kind of competing against really is their inbox, but all of us treat our inboxes differently. I've got one inbox account, which has got thousands of unopened emails. Like it's a deeply stressful place. That's probably my personal one. Whereas, you know, if it's my business one, I try and operate on inbox zero every week. So everything gets opened, looked at and filed away in some way. So hopefully when we get people to sign up for our things, we want them to use that, you know, that email address that they really pay attention to. But that's a whole other thing. We can talk about that another day. Also as well with your marketing as well, you know, there's some incredible software out there at the moment. So I've been playing around with a few little different ones. So I'll talk about this a bit more later. So for my website, I use Kajabi and they've recently created or bought out this thing called like Kajabi Creator, I think it's called. And basically, and there's there's loads of software that does this. There's another software I use for recording podcasts called Riverside. And they've now got all this AI technology in it where you can put your video into it and then it'll literally cut it all up for you. So say you want reels and things like that, it'll cut it all up for you. It points that it thinks is relevant. It'll create 60 second clips for you. It'll put captions on it. It literally does all of the work. It's incredible how quick and efficient it is. So this is also a huge time saver for you because I know pretty much everyone I talk to, time is the biggest struggle that we have. You know, time is the one thing we're always looking for more of. So if we can have systems that save us time, it is a total no brainer. So you can create, for example, one core piece of content, put it through this software and, you know, bing, bang, boom, it does it all for you. That's sort of one example of how I use software and technology for marketing. Then let's talk about sales. Money coming into the business is arguably the number one most important thing we need to be concentrating on because if we don't have money coming in, the longevity and sustainability of our businesses is is in, in under threat, isn't it? So for me sales systems have been one of the things I've really invested in, paid a lot of attention to and made a huge difference. So I always say to my clients, like, are you making it easy for people to give you money? Because the problem is for all of us, you know, if we go on websites and it's difficult to find, you know, where we pay or the checkout is clunky or whatever else, it puts us off. And for example, we might end up thinking, oh, I'm just going to come out to web page. I'll come back to it later. I'll try and work it out later. Do we come back? not often to be honest with you you know we want sort of people if they're there in the moment ready to do it we want to make it easy for them another thing around this as well is making sure that you're not writing out manual invoices so it's something I really try and like help and encourage my clients with is like don't do this stuff manually because what I always say is think about how much time it takes you to sit there and write out all those manual invoices and send them and then how much time does it potentially take you to chase the payments if they don't come through because the reality is people do 
forget to pay, you know, and it sort of slips down through their inbox. So I always say to my clients, you know, calculate all that time that it's taking you to do that. Think about what your hourly rate is. That's how much money you're spending on doing your invoices. Now, if you go look at software and technology that can do it for you, I bet that the cost of that is a fraction of what you've maybe just estimated in your head it's costing you to do things manually. I know this from my old business. I hated, 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 hated chasing for payments. Like, you know, I was always having to check my bank account and cross-reference things. And it was just really really time consuming and it would just felt icky you know like I had a good relationship with my clients and I didn't like having to send these payment reminders so having an automated system that did it for me meant that it was you know literally happening in my sleep almost you know I, I wasn't having to look at it it was all going on in the background it worked 99% of the time it worked and it reminded people and it just gave them that little nudge that they needed so I highly recommend looking into things like that and I'll talk a little bit more shortly about some of my favorite softwares to use for these and finally the other kind of uh, sort of systems that we want in our business is for our clients as well. So it's not just about the marketing and making money. It's also about how we create like a great experience for our clients because, you know, the better the experience you can create for them, the more they're going to want to stick around and carry on working with you. As an example, I really like using systems to like deliver content in like a timely fashion. So especially if you have a lot of content, you know, what can happen is, and, and I know, I know that so many of my clients are guilty of this, including me. This is one of my weaknesses, I would say, especially I think a lot of us come from like educational backgrounds and we love teaching and educating. We want to give everybody everything. You know, we have all these ideas and all these trainings we want to create. Very rarely do I have conversations with my clients where they're like, oh, I'm just going to create this nice, simple, easy thing. It's like, no, Helen, I'm going to, you know, rewrite an entire syllabus, re-record it all, put it all out there. Months and months of work. And I love it. Like, I love the ambition. Like, that's what we should be going for. But in reality, what happens is that we sometimes create all this stuff. And then when people come to work with us, what I find is it's either one of two ways for for your new client. They either look at it and think, wow, this is amazing. There's so much stuff here. I'm really excited to dive in. Let's go. Or they look at it and think, oh my goodness, this is totally overwhelming. What have I signed up for? I'm not going to have any time to do this. It's really important to get this kind of delicate balance between the two. And so using kind of systems and automated processes, you can actually like drip feed and deliver things to people slowly. So this has also been really helpful for us in the education business because we didn't want people to have access to like all of the really great content we had, like for example, the high value stuff, like maybe exam papers or something like that as as an example for you. We didn't want people to just be able to sign up, download everything and then disappear. Because honestly, some people will will do that, you know, in like a membership situation. So using like drip feeding systems meant that they had to hang around for a couple of months for them to get access to everything. And they could very visually see on their own personal account when it was going to be drip fed to them. And that really helped us with like the amount of time people spent with us, our customer retention. And, you know, while they're waiting for that stuff to come out, we've also got other little automated things going on like, you know, certain timely emails that go to them, like after they've been working with us for a couple of weeks or a couple of months or something like that, just to really improve that experience for them and make them want to, make them not want to just come in, grab the stuff and go. You know, they actually want to hang around and be a part of it all. Also as well, you can have these like systems in place to collect feedback and like remind people to give you reviews. Because again, like with the best intentions, we all know we should be doing this. We all want to do it. You know, like feedback and reviews are, are really the kind of like driving force with our marketing and how we develop our our services and feedback from our customers. But you know, for a lot of us, I think we sometimes forget or we just, you know, time goes so quickly and we don't do it. It sort of maybe falls down the bottom of the the to-do list for the day. So that's why, again, automating all this stuff, having it all scheduled in means that you don't need to remember. Frees up a bit of brain space, gives you back more time, takes things off the to-do list and it's just happening there for you all the time. So ultimately, your business is running more smoothly. Things are happening for you in the background without you even having to do anything. And from your client's perspective, they're having this really great experience. They feel like they've got lots of touch points coming through and they can see this like really clear road ahead of them. You know, for me, I've got to this point now in my business. So I've talked to you about like marketing and sales and client systems. Like I've got to this point where honestly, every single process I have, I try and automate it. (laughs) Like, you know, I will invest a lot of time going out of my way, seeing how I could automate things as much as possible. I love 
online business and I love sort of like technology and things like that because it's always evolving like there's always new things to do and new things to try some of it's great some of it actually ends up taking more time and it doesn't really work so well but that's the fun of this stuff isn't it like the more you're willing to experiment and try things honestly the quicker you'll see success you know the quicker you'll see things grow because you're constantly trying to evolve and improve not just for yourself but but for your clients as well in terms of like software that I use so you know I could I could give you a huge massive list here but I'll, I'll give you like a really quick basic run through and just as well just for a bit of background here you might sort of listen to this and think oh this stuff sounds interesting so inside love mondays club this is the kind of stuff we talk about all the time and all of the systems that i use i've got templates and trainings for all of them for members of love mondays club so if you think you want to sign up to something and you want a bit more support with using it then that's what love mondays club will do for you it'll give you all the templates give you lots of ideas and trainings and things like that for example right now as I'm recording this, the software I'm using to record it is called Audacity, which is great. It's a free software. It's really good for like audio recordings. I don't use Zoom because Zoom like compresses files. So it like kind of like slightly ruins the audio quality. And all of my notes, all of my planning is done through Trello. So I love Trello. Pretty much my entire life is organized through it. It's essentially like, you know, you create lists and cards and you can set dates and deadlines. So for example, like with my VA and my team who I work with, we do everything through Trello, everything things planned on there when I plan my social media content all goes into there when I plan my podcast episodes it all goes into there I even actually have a whole board dedicated to my holidays (laughs) planning holidays and making notes and things in there so I, I really love it I find it a really easy tool to use and yeah you can pretty much do anything you want with it in terms of planning so that's for that one what else was on my list okay email marketing obviously that's a huge one so that's what I talk about all the time if you want free email software MailerLite is a good way to go it is very basic. I think it ticks the boxes and does the basic things for you. What I always say to people as well is like, if you're a bit unsure about email marketing, whether you're going to like it, I mean, I really hope you will like it because honestly, you know, as I bang on about all the time, it is so helpful and powerful. But if you just want to try something for free, like a little bit like risk free, MailerLite's a great option. And you can always change to a different email provider in the future. Like it'll be a little bit of a faff, you know, you might have to set things up, but it's it's not impossible. You know, it's, it's not a difficult thing to do. It just takes a bit of time. If you have people helping you, if you have VAs and things like that, that's the kind of thing they can help and support you with. So it's not necessarily something that you have to do. So MailerLite's great for free. If you want something that's a little bit more techy, has a little bit more, I'm going to go into a bit of jargon here, but like tagging and segmenting and moving people around. So if this is a, when you want to be a little bit more complex and you want people to kind of move maybe from one list to another based on their behavior and things they've downloaded and things like that. Basically, what you're doing is making a much more personal personalized experience for them. ConvertKit is really good for that. But once you get things like ConvertKit, you're now having to pay for it. I mean, again, it's not outrageous considering like how much it does for you and how powerful it is in your marketing. I think it's worth every single penny, but you will have to start paying for it at that point. And then if you want all things techie, so this is my favorite, this is what I use. It's Active Campaign. So Active Campaign, I would say is probably one of the more, if not most expensive email marketing softwares out there, but it just does so much more than email marketing. You know, for me, Active Campaign also acts as like my CRM system, so customer relationship management system. You know, it's really clever how it can sort of move people around in automations, making sure that they're getting the right information when they need it. When I've done Facebook ads in the past, it's like integrated very seamlessly with that. So when I was using Facebook ads to like, you know, grow my email list and things, it just all worked very like fluidly together. So yeah, it's super powerful. It's also got sort of like technology on it where it can like put tracking on your website so you can see if people on your email list are going and looking at your website and it can even you know like trigger emails and things for them so you know like for example if you go on to uh, a clothes shop and you look at certain clothes and then suddenly 12 hours later you're scrolling through social media and they're in one of the ads there are the exact clothes that you were looking at and you know they're promoting them back to you so that's obviously through like cookies and and advertising tracking and things like that but the email marketing is the same so you might have it for example if you're selling like products or goods or or even even sort of like services and courses you might have for example somebody put something in their cart and then they end up not buying it so you can have a trigger that like sends them a reminder and says you know don't forget to purchase this now obviously the, the examples I'm giving you here they're not just exclusive to the software 
there are lots of other websites out there like Shopify and things like that if you're selling products which will have similar things built into it and this is what I mean right like I'm giving you examples of things that I like to use because I've just just got used to them and I find them easy to use but for you it might not be the same you know you might for example sign up to active campaign and think oh my goodness Helen this is like this is insane this I don't I'm not enjoying this at all <laughs> but then you might sign up to something different and really enjoy it so this is what I mean about like trying things like investing a bit of time in the free trials and just having a go and just seeing what things can do for you it's, it's also one of these things isn't it of like you don't know what you don't know so half the time you're, you're not even going to be aware of just how much stuff you can automate and how many different like systems you can have to help you so curiosity is key in in all this sort of stuff other software i use so for my for my websites for the education business we use thinkific so i do lots of training and support inside love mondays club around thinkific because a lot of people in there have got these sort of like education based businesses so for them thinkific's a great one because just just the way the courses are sort of laid out and designed it's very easy to use you can create like memberships in there you can create payment plans the only thing i don't like about thinkific is that the website it isn't very pretty like you, you you can obviously have your design your own website and homepage and things like that but there's not much sort of editing and personalization you can do with it now if you don't like technology that might might actually be music to your ears because it, it's very sort of simple drag and drop but for someone like me I like to really personalize it and tweak it and change the fonts and all sorts of different things move things around so I want something that I have a bit more control over in that sense for Love Mondays Club everything's through Kajabi so again Kajabi is one of the more pricey sort of online course building platforms but I love it it. Again, I find it very easy to use. It's very powerful. All the design of it is just really nice. It's very clear and laid out. And again, like I say, like all these websites, all these bits of software, they're always bringing out new updates and new features. So it's exciting. It feels really exciting to be a part of these sorts of things because you're just constantly seeing them evolving and changing and seeing how that's going to help your business to evolve and change as well. So I get very excited about this stuff. <laughs> I was literally texting my, my virtual assistant the other day my VA the other day saying have you seen this new thing this is amazing and we'll be talking about it in our next meeting so um yeah it's all fun so anyway the last thing I want to talk to you about as well was sales systems so because I talked about how you know it's really important that you're automating your payments and things like that now for me a big thing I talk about in Love Mondays Club is creating this idea of like recurring revenue in your business and essentially that just means you're kind of getting the same steady income every month almost a bit like you're on a bit of a payroll the comfort that comes from from having that sort of stable income coming in is you know a huge weight off your shoulders because I know for a lot of us when we first start in business we have these big sort of peaks and spikes and dips and it can be quite stressful so something we do inside Love Mondays Club is we're always focusing on the services that we're creating can they create recurring revenue in our business you know or are they going to be just like sort of spike injections of money but then potentially we have to plan okay well then what happens after that so if you're using software like for example Thinkific for your website or Kajabi for your website or things like that they have like payment processes built into them so that you can create like payment plans on there or membership sort of uh, financial setups and things like that so in many ways you know a lot of the another great thing with all of this software is that it it has like a package to it it has lots of different things it can help you with so again always worth exploring I mean, for like really basic transactions, you can use Stripe. So Stripe, you're going to need to kind of process the payments. But on Stripe, you can also create basically sort of like individual products with like a very basic sales page for people to fill in and you can take payments in that way. Like if I'm honest, I think it's a good quick workaround if you just need something really simple and easy. But in all honesty, I, I feel like it's it's quite basic. You can't really do much with it. Like it's not a sales page. It's I don't it's not going to kind of sell things to people. It's much more of a kind of you, maybe you've already had that sales conversation with them and, and you're just sending them a simple payment link. But yeah, not the prettiest thing in the world. Another bit of software I've used in the past is Thrivecart. And I really like that. What I, what I liked about it was that it was just like a one off cost, a little bit expensive. But then when I thought about how much I was paying for other invoicing software over a year, when that started to add up, you know, when I've been business for a couple of years it, it all balanced out in the end and again Thrivecart was really good because it would let me create memberships and payment plans and, and all sorts of different things you can kind of hear from what I'm saying I mean I've listed lots of different bits of software to you and you might your brain might be sort of exploding a little bit at the moment thinking oh my goodness <laughs> 
What am I meant to do? Where am I meant to start? It's difficult for me to sit here on this episode and say to you, you must get X, Y, and Z, because I know for lots of you listening to this podcast, you all have slightly different sort of services and offers and jobs and roles. So in many ways, it's a, it's a good thing that we're not all being taught this kind of one size fits all, you know, just use this. Like, I want you to have this kind of confidence and like I say, curiosity to go out there and try lots of different things. But again, inside Love Mondays Club, this is what we talk about all the time. And like, every week so we always have a call on a Monday every week we end up talking about some kind of software with people like sharing their experiences everyone's asking for advice on what's worked for them and what's not worked for them and as I say inside the library there are loads of training resources and if there's anything anyone ever mentions that we don't have a training on you can trust that I will go and create something in the next 24 48 hours and upload it for all our members so this is the thing like Love Mondays Club is like this one-stop shop just to make your life so much easier with this stuff so that you don't have to sit there twiddling and kind of like figuring it all out in a really slow way like I will still always encourage you to go be curious with it and have a go at it but if you also want sort of honest advice from people who are in a similar situation to you then nothing beats having that community that you can kind of check in with and ask and also as well like on the live calls I'll sometimes do little demonstrations if people are stuck or they just want some support with it as I say we're all very passionate about systems in our business making life easier saving us time and as I said at the start of this business sorry start of this business as I said at the start of this podcast episode, if you're looking to grow and scale and you have big ambitions for your business and you really want to, you know, take it to the next level, then all the things I've talked about today are the kind of things you need to be implementing into your business. And they're not going to happen overnight. You know, you're probably not going to be able to do all of this in one day is the honest truth. Like this stuff does take time. And I know that's frustrating and that's not what we get sold to online, but it sadly is the truth and the reality that, you know, this stuff doesn't sort of happen overnight. But the the time and the financial investment of putting systems in you will start to see the rewards of that as as the weeks and months roll by and as you start to grow and and build your business so i hope you've enjoyed this episode i've loved talking to you about all of this so as i say if you want to know a bit more about this sort of stuff and you want to know a little bit more about love mondays club a great thing to do is to go and try my course which the url for it is lovemondaysclub.co.uk forward slash grow and you can sign up there and just have a look at the free training and resources or if you're interested in coming along to Love Mondays Club, you're very welcome to come and join us for a month. Check it out. See what we're all about. See what, you know, what I'm talking about in the library and all the resources and the calls that we have on Mondays at half past nine. And we'd love to welcome you in. So the best way to do that is you can either go onto my website and you go to my contact page, which is just simply lovemondaysclub.co.uk forward slash contact. And you'll see on there, there is Calendly, which I haven't actually talked about today, but that's how I used to, that's the software I use for booking in calls. You'll see on there that you can book in a call and it's literally a discovery call it's really quick but we'll sit down and we'll have like a good chat about your business and what you want to do and we'll talk about like your goals and then I'll just give you honest feedback on like whether I think Love Mondays Club is right for you and and how we can help you and signpost you with different options or alternatively you can drop me a message on social media so somebody actually said to me the other day they didn't realize on Facebook if you're on Facebook for example that you can actually send my Facebook business page a direct message so you can if you just go on to Helen I think it's Helen Dash Love Mondays Club you can send me a message on there or Instagram you'll find me at Love Mondays Club as well so you can pretty much find me all over the place guys I'm also on LinkedIn so anywhere you want to contact me that is absolutely fine (laughs) I feel like I've just listed like a million ways for us to get in touch with each other but this is the thing isn't it again I know that all of us listening use slightly different platforms and slightly different ways and this is the beauty of technology is that it's so versatile and flexible by the way I'd love to hear from you love to chat with you about your business and find out more about it and see if Love Mondays Club can support you otherwise I hope you have a wonderful week and I look forward to hopefully hearing from you very soon. Thank you for listening to another episode of the Love Mondays Club podcast. Don't forget to review and subscribe or share this episode with one of your business friends. Have a great week and I'll see you next Monday.